Oh, this is the chair I've been using. Bruh. For a year or two. Nice and comfortable, right? No. But now. What is this? The new and improved GT Racing GT002 has upgraded my setup, has upgraded my comfort. Back, nice, and postured. Thanks to this lumbar support, this head pillow. My neck will never hurt again. My, my <laughs> back, nice and relaxed. Not only that, 360 degrees of spinach. Yeah, not the kind that you eat. 360 <laughs> degrees right there, all the way around. It can go up, nice and high. If you're short, you can reach up wherever you want. I'm as tall as a giant. If you're a tall person, you gotta fit into those small desks. You got both options. Man, I had a long day of recording. Let me just lay back 170 degrees, because why not? Ugh, oh, Chels, I think I might be sleeping in here from now on. Wow, this is so comfortable. You ever need an ab workout? Maybe you can go <laughs> up. All right, that's now. Now you go up. Just get a couple of ab workouts, keep your feet up, you know, keep them high. Look at my arms. My arms are nice and rested, but what if my arms don't want to be rested? Get them out of the way. Get them back up. One up, one down both options. What an amazing chair. It's beautiful. It looks great. Get a nice 360 view of that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. You guys, check out the link in the description. If you guys want one of these for yourself, you can be as comfortable as me. You can take a nap whenever you want. What's up guys, we're back with another epic PSA return video. I'm super excited about this one. We have six cards, including the crimped Trihorn Dragon from the video where we pulled it in Los Angeles. It was pretty crazy. I'll link that video up in the eye so you guys can see it. If you haven't, let's get into the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have Graceful Dice, Skull Dice, and First Edition Banisher of the Light from Magic Ruler. All you gotta do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from this submission. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. All right, we got this thing open pretty quickly, actually, which is which is good, because usually they're kind of they're kind of tough to open. Okay, let's see. Oh, I just, I got a spoiler. I got a spoiler for one of the cards. I don't know which card it was, though. So we're going to mix them up, so I don't know which one it was. But we have six cards here. Um, this is kind of a bad sign. Check out the back. I mean, that's just the case. Oh, look, that's the crimp trihorn. Okay, it's all over the case, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and start this thing. This is going to be a lot of fun. Only six cards in this video. By the way, I'm feeling extra comfortable in this GT racing chair. I don't know if you guys noticed, but you guys should check out the link in the description if you're interested in getting one because I can highly recommend over the last chair, which you guys will see that I had, but it's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and start off with the first card. We have six cards, so we're going to take our time here. We have a trap hole from LOB first edition. So this is a super rare. This could be a really cool card. It was super nice, super good condition. Trap hole. Oh, that is so awesome. First edition, trap hole, legend of blue eyes. This would definitely be an eight at BGS. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, BGS people. That's really cool. That is really, really cool. Wow. That is a nice card to get. I have one of these. It was gifted to me by a friend, but it actually is like the weakest tin of all time. So this is a nice upgrade. This card uh, has pretty, the back centering is not too good on, the, on this card, but that's about it. It was really super clean. It had pretty nice front centering. Yeah, that's really nice to see. So now I have another LOB first edition card. That's really cool. That is a great start to this return. Okay, next card. What do we have here? Magic Jammer from our box. Let me, let me see if I can do this. We have a first edition Magic Jammer. This card was super nice. You guys saw the Beast Skull return. It got a 10. What is that on, on that? You guys see that? That's on the case. The cases are just, man, they're just nasty over here for some reason. There's stuff all over them. So yeah, that's not looking too good. But if you guys saw the BGS return, they actually had a bunch of junk on theirs too. It was weird. I don't know what to deal with grading cards and uh, the just stuff on the cases is. Yeah, it looks like they got... Hopefully that's not in there. I can't tell. This came back. I'm trying to think how fast this came back. Maybe like, it took a while. I mean, you guys saw that LA video, but that video occurred like mid-December. So I sent it pretty soon after that. Maybe like four or five weeks for these. That's normally what it's taking for Express. And the centering's not amazing on this one. Let's see, on the back. 
This one got a 10. Okay, see, that just shows you that they don't really care about the back centering because the last two have had bad back centering. This, I just need to clean this slab off. That's annoying. Gym Mint 10 though. So we got two 10s on our Ultras out of the Metal Raiders box. You guys can check out that video. That was a really awesome video. That's pretty awesome because now I have Summon Skull, three B-Skull Dragons, by the way, still. So if anybody has a Gate Guardian, they want to trade for a B-Skull, hit me up. PSA 10, by the way. I would do that. So now we have three Ultras. That's pretty cool. Next card. We are two cards down. Magician of Fate. This is a big one. This card, I think, was really nice. Uh, the centering on the back is not good, but as we've seen, they don't really care. But this is side to side, which looks worse than top to bottom because there's just more. Like, it's longer, so naturally it looks worse. So I'm going to guess we might have gotten a 9 on this one. But I think it could get a 10 based on it being back centering. Yeah, I got a 9. Okay. I do have this in a 10. I think the back centering actually did get it. It was, it was bad enough because this front centering is pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. Man, what is, where are all these little pieces? It looks like they threw in a hayfield or something. Huh. Maybe that was. That's a pretty strong nine. That back center really did it in. Okay, next card. Oh, man. See, I don't even remember where this card came from. I have a blue eyes tune dragon, and I don't know where it came from. Magic ruler. What's the centering look like? Pretty good. This is a huge card. The back centering is actually really good. Man, this card's nice. Where did I get this? Okay, can we get a 10 on this thing? Oh, an 8. I must have missed something. Okay, what did I miss here, guys? All you, all the grading experts. I know you guys are typing it right now. Oh, it's obvious. You don't see that. You don't see that little scratch or that uh, look at his eyeball. It's clearly damaged or something. You know, this is just the crazy stuff you guys type. But uh, by you guys, I mean like 0.1% of the chat, by the way. Because most of you guys are awesome, and I appreciate all you guys. Oh, maybe it's that corner. Yeah, I think maybe that's what it is. Actually, I don't, maybe it's just the reflection. I don't know why this got an 8. But either way, it's still a nice card because I think a 10 is like $4,000 now. So an 8 still going to be worth a few hundred dollars. Um, near Mint is expensive now. I mean, it's just tough to get these. I already have a 10 anyway from the one we pulled. You guys can check that one out if you want to check that out. But I don't even know where that came from. So I'll take that 8. F oh! Charge of the Light Brigade. Secret Rare. We pulled this against Rhyme Style. Centering on it was good. Let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Let's go over here. Back's pretty good. They got some stuff in the case yet again. Pretty nice card. I hate that sleeve. It makes it look like it's bent. They always do that. Okay. What do you guys think? Think we can get the gym in on this? Whew, that'd be sick. Oh. PSA 9. Oh, I don't know why, though. I don't know why. Okay, let's see. Is the centering off a little? No, it's not off. Um, what do we miss? Maybe the corners? A little bit. Maybe a little bit of tiny bit of whitening right there. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Mm, maybe it's on the back. Yeah, they, they definitely got that in there, by the way. So hopefully that's not the reason it's a nine. But, uh, ooh, man, that stinks. Centering, back centering's not perfect. But definitely within the back perimeters of 75, 25 or whatever. Okay, a 9. We'll take it. Still really cool. Beautiful card. I mean, just look at that. That's beautiful. Still a really cool card that we pulled against Rhyme Style. And the final card. You guys can tell right away what this card is. Why did I even grade this, you ask? I don't know. I'm not even going to turn around. We're just going to straight turn it around. This needs a some serious wipe down. I think that'll come off, though, hopefully. Okay. What is my guess for this? I mean, this could have, I mean, this could get like a two or it could get like a five. I don't even know how they grade a, a crimped card because the rest of the card's pretty nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, the rest of those cards graded so bad at BGS without a crimp. So I'm guessing like a three or something. That's been my guess. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. What did this card get in this PSA return? Wow, that is, that thing's dirty. Okay, here we go. Hit the like button for luck. A five. Hey, that's not that bad. EX5, okay. So that makes sense. I mean, it's got a huge crimp. That's just cool. I wanted it slabbed so I could display it. And um, just remember that epic moment. Because the box, I mean, let's be honest. The box was a, it was a disappointment. Getting the box was awesome. Opening this was awesome. After that, it was a disappointment. I mean, that's just how it goes sometimes. And it was pretty rough. But this is the best, the best part of the box. And the memory of going to L.A. 
So this is really cool to have, especially graded, even if it's a five. So yeah, for some reason I paid Express to get this back, but it's just really cool. That crimp trihorn, that's super cool. We can make this the thumbnail or something. Ooh, blur it out, yeah. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. That was a pretty good return. I mean, we got a Gym Mint 10 LB card. That's awesome. We got a, tra a Trap Hole Gym Mint 10. That's awesome. And then we got all, after that, we kind of, all the biggest cards, really. We didn't do that. I mean, we got a 9. That was kind of tough. That was tough, I think. This one, I'm not sure why we got an 8, but there had to be something if we got an 8. I say that BGS gave us 8s, and I didn't think there was anything, but... <laughs> well, there was centering. Magician of Faith. Yeah, so... Um, let me know your opinion. Unless it's something really dumb, don't say anything dumb in the comments. Just do your best not to say anything dumb. Wow. But, uh... <laughs> this was a good video. I am happy we got an LOB Super Rare. That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. Make sure you guys go follow me over on Twitch. We have been streaming a ton. It's been a lot of fun. I won't be streaming tonight, but maybe tomorrow. So it's, we've been playing a lot of Duel Links. I've been promoting it like crazy because it's just been so much fun. Because everybody that's been there, we've had a great time. And I've really enjoyed it. Also, make sure you check out that link if you guys want a nice GT Racing chair. This chair is really awesome. I'm already loving it so much more than my old chair. And I really appreciate them sending me this. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, oh. Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh! <laughs>